shit so ass. It looks like it's look like it's fucking AI generated. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's so ass. Wait, hold on. <laughs> it's just so ass. Okay, okay, back to what we were talking about. Okay, so you see over here, right? Dan TDM is trending again. You may be wondering, why is Dan TDM trending again? You know what happened? Bro, KSI, Logan Paul, and everything's going all downhill already. Again, I'm not even kidding. I thought it was going to be over with one, but now they're doubling up. This is basically a continuation of the other video that I created earlier. And yes. Okay, so KSI news. Logan Paul decided to add on to the KSI beef by talking about it on his uh, impulsive podcast. So let's, let's even look at it. I just can't believe that we're in a place where people, people are mad about it. A turkey cheese and okay, cracker. Okay, who is Dan DTM? Or it's is not that... even. It's not even so much TDM. TDM. Who yeah. who is he? Dan TDM is a, apparently pretty big. He's got a lot of a lot of fans who <clears throat> like his Minecraft content and and hate you. Uh, speaking of hating on Minecraft YouTubers here, uh, right here, it's Logan Paul is like lashing out because. Tommy in it was like a good friend. If you want to say it, like maybe not a good friend, maybe he's like doing it for a business partner, you know, being nice to your business partners makes sense, you know, collaborations, stuff like that. But <laughs> this, this shit, okay, awesome. How's later? Low gang? <laughs> How's that rude? What? I'm trying to be cool with you. I text worse. So <laughs> he's being nice. Yeah, Logan Paul is having beef with a Minecraft YouTuber that's no longer a child, but he was a child at those in that uh, text exchange. Not really the best look. Offline glaze? That, <laughs> that's being a supportive friend. <laughs> okay, sorry I'm laughing a lot in this one because this one is just trying to make Tommy in it look bad. It would, I can't see any other way of how that's gonna like make you look good. Unless you're trying to say like he's fake or something, right? But looking at this with like a sociopathic mindset real quick, how in any way, being mean to a kid at that time, right? Being mean to a kid that was trying to actively be happy about you. He was glad about you. He was like, oh yeah. How is that going to help your business in any way? It just makes you look more of a dickhead. This is not a good business tactic. <laughs> this is so stupid. And I think the original reason why this was whole like um, propagated in the first place was because uh, Logan Paul, it was, <laughs> hold on, let me leave it go on thumb in it real quick. You man chat, leave me alone. Call me back. I think we should handle this like adults. You had your chance, man. You had your chance. I think, yeah, this is why it's propagated. Because of the fact that Gaza conflict with Prime. That's a little insensitive, <laughs> don't you think? I can't really find a way to defend this. Other than if you turn the business mindset, you could be like, oh yeah, um, he's doing this for money. Which obviously that's the case, right? So you do it. And the most <laughs> people click on that for the money. You know, because you need people to go get Prime and stuff. More controversy, more money, more stuff like that. Yeah, I get that. I get that. But at the same time, <laughs> have like a little bit of clarity. <laughs> That's why I found it so funny uh, with that, of him talking about that. I guess like, I, you know, all I can do is, 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 is hear him and, you know, hear what people are saying. And um, we're a company that listens to the consumer and the feedback. And I, I think activity gets way more attention. Tearing people down and hatred and negativity gets way more attention, clicks and views than the opposite. Uh... <laughs> 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 so, Logan Ball in this clip was actually addressing the Dan TDM beef, which KSI just talked into a brick wall. As Dan TDM, he is living his best life out here. He has his kid with him, privacy, just like censoring out their faces. Literally, all he said was this one tweet from like, I don't know, at this point, two weeks ago. And then speaking about the Dan TDM thing, they're trying to like, hey, you want to you wanna go to my podcast? It'll get us a lot of money. It'll get us a lot of money. I can see the business decision here. They're trying to rage bait in order to get more attention on them. And it's working. As you can see, I'm talking about it. I <laughs> find this shit hilarious. It works clearly, but at the same time, it's like, eh, it's like short-term gain. This will work for a smaller YouTuber, but not really for like, I don't think a bigger YouTuber would work for this. Like if I got in some drama right now, I would be in the highest of high, unless it's like certain allegation drugs right between the lines there, but. <laughs> By the way, uh, Drake also trolls KSI, new banger song on Aiden Ross's stream. There's no way Drake can be staying in this shit, bro. You won't go back to that, no balls. I guess I'm playing that fucking, that shitty music in my ear. Shit's gonna piss me off and give me a headache. It's gonna make me more mad than I already am. What is in my ear? 
Yo, Mod, so Drake tells you- I don't personally believe it yet. Somebody send me anything on the comments, and I'll look at it, and I'll see, and maybe make a follow-up, and then I'll see it, but yeah, that's all. Also, Mr. Beast as well. <laughs> There's more Mr. Beast drama. I saw this pop up in my timeline. Hold on, let's just- From the screen to the ring to the pen to the king. Where's my crown? That's my bling. Always drama when I ring. I saw this shit pop up in my, my fucking For You page on Twitter. And this shit was ass, bro. I'm sorry to say it. It's the song with mixed with every single, like, ironic ass shit in the... I don't even think he thought of anything with this one. He didn't even think. He didn't even think. I'm sorry, Mr. Beast. You have allegations. At least make some hard bangers right now. But you're not making any right now, bro. Man, just because this shit, you know, because you have this shit, I'm ex I'm, just, I'm, ex I'm starting to say it. For Mr. Beast employee explains why YouTuber's invincible attitude is costing him. Where he has, like, it's like a manual with this, like, his mindset or something like that. It just just sound a bit off, but hey, <laughs> anything to get rich, right? All right, a former employee opened up about his experience working with the YouTube star, saying the creator's invincible mindset is causing problems, big problems down the line. Okay, yeah, Ava Chris Tyson, we're not gonna talk about that. Former Mr. Beast employee Trey Yates says that Donaldson unstoppable attitude doing the impossible of it, maybe partly recent backlash. Uh huh. For years. Jimmy felt like he was invincible. He told the outlet, what we're seeing now is a repercussion of him thinking that way. In his YouTube bubble, he could get away with that. His target audience was children. If he wants to continue to scale up, he can't just uh, say and do whatever the fuck we want anymore. It's worth noting that in this mindset, as part of Mr. Beast's business model, as told as a leaked PDF, uh, as a brain dump for his ideas. Yeah. Okay. So this is the PDF I was trying to talk about right here. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with this. I'm going to just copy it and just link it in the description so you don't you know, i don't gotta do anything about that because I, I don't want to read this because it's a big ass document i will tell you 35 or 36 pages of like basically rambling that is, i'm not doing this that's too much labor cost for the yips 3 channel here i can't do that so i'll keep this in the description so you guys can actually read it for yourself if you really want to um but yeah he's got but yeah mr beast got all that and if we look through here yeah that shit was ass, so I had to really pull this out right here. From this Dexter article, he apparently has a complex. <laughs> a complex right there. Inhumane <laughs> work conditions. Oh, and I mean, we already know all the drama with Mr. Beast. Or uh, maybe you don't, but uh, he's, he's basically working a, a sweatshop factory of YouTube <laughs> right now. And nobody likes him as of currently. Well, nobody likes him because he hasn't created a response. But the problem is, he can't create a response because he's waiting on the next video of Dog Pack is going to make. Dog Pack needs to make that video so he can actually you know, respond to it in one whole sentence or one whole word, word like a, like what Dream did. I mean, Dream's response was pretty good on that, but at the same time, it wasn't real received because he took too long and stuff, and that's probably what's going to cause it to happen. So, yeah, that's how I'm going to say it there uh, with that one. You know, all of this is happening because of Lunchly and how, uh, you know, all that is going on. But because of that, Dandy Dumb's just perfectly fine. Like, look at him. He's just, he's hanging out with his kid. And, you know, he's just, he's just glad to be here. He, he's just good right now. He doesn't got to worry about shit. Uh, no hate, Dan TM or anyone. Uh, I'm trying to be as non-biased as possible. That's why I'm looking through every single perspective trying to do it. If I fucked up, let me know. Uh, put in the comments down below. Man, what the fuck am I saying? All right, I'm out of here.